What's up, people? This is the live motherfucker right here, solo. Listen, I just finished doing the video about me not feeling so good. But I gotta really get this shit out of my mind, man. You know, this shit been fucking me for the longest now. Look, I don't want to hear it, man. You have a lot of dudes out there, a lot of fucking dudes out there talking about, ah, uh, I will never snitch. I will never do none of that shit. I will never talk to the police. I will never blah, 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 blah. Let me tell you something, brothers. I'm 51 years old. I'm 51 years old. I met motherfuckers, B. I met motherfuckers that was really thugged out motherfuckers that will blast you just for you looking at them wrong. All right? Believe me, I've been through this. I've been through that. I've done everything that you motherfuckers out there have even not even been thinking about doing. Okay? And I don't got to speak about what I've been doing or what I've done because all that's going to do is get the motherfucking trouble. And even though I'm not going to get in trouble because, you know, stack of deliberation, I mean, that shit is over with. That's like 20 years, 25 years ago. You know what I'm saying? So, all I'm telling you is this, man. You guys are so quick to 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 bring down that young man 69. Listen, a lot of you fucking dudes out there, a lot of you dudes out there knew that 69. I'm talking about the 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 fucking Treyway, the nine train gang, whatever the fuck. I'm talking about you guys. You guys knew this man was not built, but. You accepted him. Why? Because of the fucking money. Because of the money. Everybody started getting greedy. Mm. I don't got no hair in my fucking tongue, man. And I'm a motherfucking pure Latin king, bro. And I don't, I don't, and like I said, I'm 51, B. I've been through it. I've been through it. Niggas have shot at me four times, B. Four times. I got out of four times, I got blown up once. And two years later, I got blown up three times. And I'm 51 years old. And right now, I'm sick. So, I don't know what the fuck is going on with me. I don't know. I think it's something bad because of my short breath and stuff like that. I believe it's something bad. That's why I just don't give a fuck no more. And enough is enough. Niggas talking about, oh, he snitched. And you hear all these fucking rappers, man. All these rappers are talking this bullshit. Ah, he snitched. He needs a super violation. Look, man. For example, Jim Jones. And I'm talking about you, Jim Jones. What happened to you when your man was getting fucked up? What happened to your man? When, what happened to you when you, you... And you're supposed to be a big homie, Jim. You're supposed to stand by your mans. When your man was getting pounded out by the Latin Kings. I saw that video that 50 Cent put out. I saw that video, and you did not even swing one punch to help your mans. So shit can happen, B. One day you could come out and strike and fight like a lion or a dog, whatever the fucking okay. But some days you will get stuck because you outnumbered. Or unless you don't got the fucking ratchet. And if you do got the fucking ratchet, now you got to worry about shooting motherfuckers or motherfuckers shooting back at you. And then how the hell you going to have call somebody and talk about 6 9 knowing that this motherfucker got a fake case, a fed case. So that means all his boys' phones are fucking tapped. I don't understand that. I don't fucking understand that. And then you, Jim Jones. You supposed to be an OG like me, my brother. And I'm feeling you, Jim. I'm feeling you, man. I'm feeling that. You know, I'm feeling this set, man. You one of my best rappers, man. But how are you going to put yourself on that phone, Jim? How are you going to do that, Jones? How are you going to put yourself on that phone knowing that these motherfuckers are tapped? You, have, you ever thought that she was a setup? Did you ever thought that phone call was a setup, man? Look, 
What 50 cents did, I mean, excuse me, what 69 cents did, it was fucking wrong. It was fucking wrong. But you should have known a young kid like that, that never had no kind of experience of gangster being a gangster, never had no experience of selling drugs, never had no experience of getting busy or holding a gun and shooting that shit. Never had the, the opportunity to do shit like that, man. Let me tell you. And this is facts, okay? This is facts. When I started learning about 50 Cent, I used to look at the video, I used to look at his videos and shit. And I used to look at his old squad the back of him. I swear to God, if you look at the videos, you will see a lot of these dudes that was in back of him looking at this nigga like, damn motherfucker, if I could get you shorty, I would get you. And I told them, I told 69 this in Instagram, if you go to my Instagram, bro, you will see. I warned them. I told them many times, yo, stop looking for beef. Because the same motherfuckers that you beefing with, they're not going to get you. Now watch your people. Watch your team. Look at your way. Look at the way your team is looking at you. You, I mean, they was looking at you like breakfast. They were looking at you like lunch, dinner. Son, you was being started. And I and I cried out to you. I told you, 6 9 if you want to change your security, holler at me. Holler at me. And I didn't know about the snitching shit, but I was telling you, holler at me. My security shit is strong arm security, and I got 35 deep. 35 deep crazy motherfuckers that came out from the island. And at, and at, at those 35 deep, seven or eight is bloods that's in my team. You see, I'm like the Kool-Aid man. I like all flavors. Black, gray, blue, green. I like all flavors. Long as you loyal, I fucks with you. So I told 69, look at the dudes that's looking at you, man. You can see the, the eyes tells it all. Boom. After, after I text him three times, what happens? They fucking kidnapped this motherfucker. They pistol whipped him, took his jewelry. I still don't know if he got his jewelry, but they took his jewelry. And he still didn't get in contact with me. When I send them my condolence, yo, I'm sorry what I heard about you. I heard that they jumped you, but my brother, I told you. He sent it back to him, like, yo, you was right, big bro. I'm sorry for not listening. Blah, 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 we cut it short. I try to holler at him again. He sent me a text, so I'm like, yo, I can't holler at you right now. Let me take care of these things. I will definitely holler at you. He did. I missed the holler. Three days later, he got knocked. You know, just imagine if 6 9 would have stood with his own fucking people. And I'm talking about, I'm not, I'm, yo, listen, man, I don't got no hair in my fucking tongue. If he would have stood with the same fucking group that he had when he first started, the Spanish brothers, that there was Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Mexicans, all mixed. And they was not looking at him for fucking paycheck. They didn't look at him as, oh, yeah, this is money right here. They looked at him as a friend. And what he did, he kicked him to the fucking curb. He kicked him out the whip. Everybody out the whip. And started picking some other dudes in. And these dudes was thirsty. He even said it. He didn't want to fucking perform in the studio because you had all these motherfucking crazy little bastards in there looking at him like if he was breakfast, man. Yes, it was wrong that he snitched. The man was getting fucking distorted, man. Hundreds of hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now you ask yourself questions, right? And you, Snoop Dogg, you, Snoop Dogg, and I don't know what the fuck you talking about because you was getting smacked the fuck up by Shook. Okay? Shook Knight was smacking you up like a fucking piñata. So what the fuck you talking about, Snoop? 
And another thing, I don't know how the fuck you became famous because your raps are bootylicious. You feeling me? I listen to your shit once in a blue moon. When I'm so fucking blown up on weed that I just don't want to get up to change the station. I'm not saying that you garbage. I'm just saying you got some good things that are, you know, that popping. But at 100%, 75% of your shit is garbage. And you're going to talk about this young man. And this is just the same thing like big, like Fat Punt. Fat Punt cannot fucking go up no more. I don't think Fat Punk can get a platinum song anymore. Because there's something about the Spanish people that they don't get the same props that blacks did on the rap game. They don't. So don't give me none of that bullshit because they don't. Name me a Puerto Rican right now that is doing, I'm talking about straight Puerto Rican, that is doing this shit right now that's the top of the list right now. No one. The only one was Big Pun. And that's because a lot of you motherfuckers couldn't fuck with Pun. You couldn't fuck with Pun. Anyway, man, this is me, your big boy Solo, from the motherfucking Latin King Nation, bro. That's right. And I'm tired of hiding that shit. You know, please, man. There was a young man. He was a young man that was getting installed. Installed for thousands of thousands of fucking dollars. Do I fucking... Encourage him for doing that? No. He should have held it down. He would have been what? 30 something years old? He could have still doing his thing. Anyway, like I said, if that man will holler at me to bodyguard him, I will bodyguard him. Yes, I will. And I will carry big boys. Feel me? big boys with the motherfucking vest and all that. And believe me, I go to target practice every fucking week. Matter of fact, twice a week. Alright? So, 69, if you come out and the fans ain't fucking with you, fuck it. And any, any rapper out there that needs security, man, holler at me. Holler at your boy. That's all I got to say. Let's just get me tight right now. This is K-Solo. Hold your head. Bye.